hundred years ago, the French Grand Prix in Strasbourg saw the Aston Martin Green P make its racing debut. And 100 years later, here it is! I want to show you the difference between a 2022 car and a 1922 car. It's a hundred years difference. Look at these big fat tires we have on the new car. These tiny little ones we have here as well. And one of these cars, you have to start with the battery. This one, you've got a starter. You have to really wind it up to get the thing started. And it's really amazing the difference that we've got. It's got a little bit further back. It's a little cockpit in the new car. But you've got two seats. What's happening here? You've got the driver, but also sitting here, you've got the mechanic. And the mechanic was there to try and fix the car if there was a problem. Look at this. This is a brake. Normally a brake's on, the, on your foot, but it's a handbrake we got here. Gearbox. Where's the gearbox? It's actually here where you move it on the outside. And there's also a difference in speed. This 2022 car can go over 200 miles an hour. This 1922 car can only do just about 100 miles an hour. One other thing that's different. Look in here. Seat belts. Nothing is in here at all. Do a pit stop. They have four guys who are changing the wheels. How do you do that? You have a jack. How do you get the wheel off? You have a hammer to hit the wheel off. Unbelievable stuff. They are so different. And I've got a special driver here to help me celebrate this fantastic vehicle. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> For the record, it's only 35 degrees outside, so we're having a cuddle. Because it's, you've been working out too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That went in nicely. Take it away, Sam. Oh, amazing. Nice. So where, where are the brakes? Where are the brakes here? Ah, no, no, no. No, no, get careful. The brakes are not where they normally are. Done. Oh. Pit stop. The weight balance is a little bit off, but the rest is perfect. Yeah, that's probably my side. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, Seb. Right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brakes out of the top. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, no, go, no, go, go for a spin, man. I've got to go There's a, hair, a hairpin there. Just go around the 50 board. All right. Whoa, 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 we're, we're going to roll. <laughs> I thought we'd go pick up your hat. Yes. I can't actually see where I'm going. There we go. Stopped. Done. Well, that was an experience and a half. Well done, you. <laughs> well done, you. Racing, it's in your blood. Are we going to see you in the next couple of years still um, racing Formula One? Well, I don't know. We will see. But uh, obviously, I love, I love racing. You know, I mean, uh, I've done this my entire life. You've done it for most of your life. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I think you reach a point where maybe you want to do something else. Yeah, there's the bus. Obviously, there is more of a bus if you're winning, and that's, you know, I, maybe in that regard I've been spoiled. I've, you know, I've had so many great years and great cars to enjoy life at, let's say, the front. And now it's a bit of a different time, different challenge. Um, and of course, I'd, you know, I'm racing to, to win. Um, but yeah, time will, time will tell. You're the moral voice within the drivers. Um, yeah, well, I think I it's, a, it's an yeah, but it's an important thing because you know you're very much sort of about the environment, equality, and justice. Is this sort of you know going to be Sebastian Vettel's sort of legacy? Um, 
I, I don't I, I, I don't care about the legacy I think uh, <laughs> uh, maybe he does yeah no. maybe he does um, <laughs> no I think uh, the bigger picture is that we you know you should be happy to, exp to say the truth or just stand up for what you think is right it's always correct to stand up for the right things and you know those two things you mentioned obviously if it, you know you look for human rights or equal treatment for everybody equality I can't see anybody convincing me that I'm missing the point and the same is, you know, if you look at our environment, I think it would just be incredibly unfair um, to whoever is coming next and wants to enjoy the same freedoms that you used to enjoy, that I am enjoying, and as I said, they want to enjoy. Great. Really appreciate your time. Thanks. Right. Thanks for joining me.